This is a uh, fully equipped hive for bees. Uh, it has the uh, viewing window and the slot in the bottom with the Varroa trays. And under the Varroa trays there is the possibility of a sump for those who want a sump. The Varroa tray framework just has three small screws on the inside and the whole framework lifts out. Um, but this is the uh, latest update with all the extras on. Um, the inside, um, a Terry's clip to hold it, and then inside you have the, uh, the small cover boards because uh, it's easier then to manipulate the hive as you want. Um, it, um, they can be slid all over the place and taken out easily. And in fact, if, if when you're working on the bees, if, the, um, if there's a problem with uh, propolis and they're sticking, you just have a round pin or the end of your, the crooked end of your uh, beehive tool and you just tip them slightly. Um, now, these, these come off underneath is the clear this is a, this is clear with a protective cover this is clear perspex so you can view you can easily view the um, what the bees are doing with the honey now um, if you if you're not going to have supers on then you can just put the perspex cover on t directly on top of the main body of the hive. Uh, I'll just remove these to show. Then, then you've got your super, um, and the idea with this hive is that everything below the super belongs to the bees, and then if you want honey, then you just take the frame that you want. So if the middle one's filled first, you remove that and replace it. That way, uh, you don't really have to get a face full of bees. The whole idea for this is, is for people that um, don't want to lift a lot and also don't want a face full of bees every time they... So they can come and check. You can come and check the bees whether they've got... If they're working in the super. And then you can come down here and remove these um, brass screws oops uh, unfortunately I'm having to work inside because the weather's so bad um, yeah and then um, you can remove this board and then you've got the B frames inside unfortunately I haven't uh, squashed them all down flat but Normally they're hanging uh, vertical. Um, and then, um, so you can see below what's going on. Uh, so, and then below that is the Varroa floor. So um, it was after a lot of demand and people requesting Varroa floor that I decided then I'll see if I can make it um, fully accessible. Um, let me just get two hands on this. That's right. And then this comes out. This this rail above is to keep the water out, so it drips over the top of the top of the chamfer on this bottom panel. Then inside here. You have the two Varroa floors. Now the um, the right hand one is larger. The uh, as you can see, the um, dividing board is here, um, and the glass is flush with the inside of the wood. So the divider board there, the beast shouldn't be able to get through. Um, and the idea is you have a main colony. And really, from experience, a main collie will take up the whole hive. 
But if you did want two nukes or a mainish colony and a nuke, you've got 13 frames that side and 11 that way to make the 24. And this is the, the Varroa sliders. Um, they just pop in there like that. And then there's a smaller one this side under the 11 frames. Um, and then and then you just pop this back on uh, I even, I've even noted I've, I've, I've been getting stainless steel and brass so people, things don't that people don't have problems getting the um, the nuts off because when I used butterfly nuts they were rusting on well at least with brass there's not that possibility um, and then this one goes on this 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 panel goes on here um, sits on like that I seem to have lost a washer that was clever um, and that has a way up has a drip rail there so the water drops down um, this drip rail here so the water drops down this this little panel here has a sharp drip rail so the water drips on the outside of that slope um, trying to keep them as dry as we can um, And another thing I've noticed, um, this we had this hive outside all winter, um, and it's a slight bit of discoloration inside because uh, prior to prior to leaving it out, um, I hadn't sealed the the holes, the, the milling holes where all the slots are. Um, and I also found that this top ledge here, there was water sitting on that. Um, so I've now decided that it's best to mastic all around them in order to keep the, uh, the moisture out. Um, but otherwise, uh, it doesn't seem to be a problem. Now, on the inside, we'll continue to go down on continue to go down this side and I can explain how um, that works um, that lifts out it's all right one-handed when it's uh, empty but I should imagine that when it's full I don't think I'll be doing that one-handed uh, but the whole idea is that there's no big items um, and then if you have if you have the bees I prefer wire excluders but you can't get them for WBC um, but um, I prefer to have it so that everything's easy to lift now get those straight this time that's better um, so they can be seen below and then here again um, you, if you haven't got the queen excluder on then you can just put the perspex cover in have your perspex cover and then you can see what's going on in the colony and then you decide whether you have whether you have um, the perspex on or the cover boards but what I do say is that bees like it dark so when you've had your inspection or viewing then um, then you can um, you can cover it back over with these cover boards and the cover boards are worked out so that when the two supers are in this cover board here um, keeps the two colonies separate and then you just put your other cover boards in accordingly 
like that. Um, and because there's a that's a divider board, that that works on like that. Says I, and there's one of these rogue frame spacers got in. Now the important thing as well to note while I'm in here um, is that B spacing, it's a critical thing, everybody talks about it, but I found from my own experience reading all the books about the worry and everything that a normal B frame is 36 millimeters from there to there and it's too narrow when they're together for bees because it doesn't give them the right nine millimeter crawl space between this nine millimeter crawl space between the two built when they combed it there isn't enough room so they'll sometimes turn or brace so if you use these plastic ends they're 30 they between 37 and a half and 38 and a half millimeter and they work really well um, now another th note, thing to note really is although i've got this full of frames this frame shouldn't really be touching the wall because it should be another four and a half millimeters away from the wall or four millimeters away from the wall to allow the bees to occupy it but um it just means that you have one less in the whole box um, but that that's how that basically works so if it if it's built ready for uh, the bee access then you put the uh, queen excluder on um, and you can either use it that way or turn it the other way you can either use it that way or turn it that way um, so it's between the the spacers between the spacers this side and the spacers that side so it's all flush and then you can put your um, super back in Ooh, it's a bit heavy for that hand put the super back in and then um, Try not to tip all the frames like I've done. And the other thing I do do is I never put more comb in than two inches on any of the frames. Then if you want to eat found, uh, honey um, complete comb, then you can cut it out from below that. But um, I tend not to um, take honey at the best of times. I just leave it for them um, because it is basically they are pollinators they're not there for us to rob the honey but that's a debatable thing um, so uh, and this, it's the same with the the main frames they're the same they only have a two inch starter um, so we'll put that back on there and then this way using this system uh, if you want to keep the supers in here and you've got your boards down below, it's just a case of lift the supers out um, and then just keep your eye on the bees that way. Um, so, uh, and, and then this, this board here is basically to keep the two colonies separate. That, that there is the divider board on the edge of that frame and this frame that goes in. That goes in like that, uh, and so it's it's B tight now, um, and we're not they're all on. It's it's all dark, so that's the basic setup. Um, but as I say, even on the big frames, I I tend not to. Um, well, I never I never put foundation in, but I've I've learned that if you don't put a two inch starter strip in in foundation in then you have a, a slight problem in as much as the uh, they might go they might go 
zigzag if they haven't got that two inch strip that two inch strip to start with um, but the whole the whole idea of the frame uh, uh, hive is to make it easy um, so there's no lifting you know you can do one frame at a time um, and it's basically very easy to use um, and then it, if you want feeders now it takes two of the big green feeders or you can put two of these white feeders in um, and I supply I supply these um, white plastic bungs so if you've got if you've got a green feeder you need to drill a hole you need to drill a hole here and a hole here and then if you've got this these single um, white feeders then you can either put just one hole in the middle or two close together like that because this this does this only has a single uh, circular hole so you know um, put you know one in the middle and then and then uh, mark it with felt pen so that it's sitting directly over the hole um, and obviously you can't have the supers in here um, when you've got the feeders um, so that's something has to be bearing bear in mind but I didn't want to get it too high um, and the, the legs the legs can easily be cut down uh, to uh, for different heights um, so yes yeah, so that's basically the internals I only put the two and a half inch uh, sorry 42 mil vent and one B escape because that's enough um, to sort them out um, so we'll shut this up and then I'll show you the entrance um, Right, so around the front here we've got uh, the entrance. Now I build it away here so that the 40, the, the 50 millimeter insulation slides behind. Um, so you can put a piece up there. Well, you slide, you you basically slide it up from the bottom, cut a slot three inches wide. And I think it's eight inches deep, and then the and then the um, the polystyrene just slides up behind and locates behind locates behind here, um, and then uh, yeah. So these screws here are to counteract the load of the gas struts. Otherwise, it has a tendency to try and push the front of the hive off. Um, so anyway, so yeah, so you get the landing. It's a deep hole for the bees, but you get the landing board, and then you've got the various places to put it. Um, yes, so that's basically that's basically it. And as I say, uh, the hot the legs are drilled, the supports are drilled for. Um, Three, three bolts but we've never needed the others but it, it allows you to cut a piece of the the top of the leg off and slide it up um, slide it up these these legs are full fully tantalized so they're fully treated they're the only thing on the, the hive that's uh, treated um, and that's uh, they're painted well I paint them but uh, the hive comes unpainted but at the moment I've just been painting them uh, for different customers um, so yeah so that's basically the hive for bees unfortunately we're not outside in the sunshine um, but uh, yeah I hope you like what I've created thank you